Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how you can take a screenshot on your iPad without using any buttons. Whether your buttons are broken or you simply prefer an alternative method, I've got several options for you so let's dive right in. First up, let's talk about using Siri. This is one of the easiest methods and most hand-free one available. You can simply activate Siri by saying the command or just hold down on the power button, but that's actually using the button, so probably don't hold on it. And just tell Siri to take a screenshot and Siri will capture the screen for you, it's that simple. Next, if you have a keyboard attached to your iPad, you can use keyboard shortcuts to take a screenshot as well. Just press command plus shift plus three to capture the entire screen or command shift four to capture a selected portion of the screen. This method is quick and efficient, but obviously only works if you have a keyboard connected to your iPad. Now let's move on to using assistive touch. Assistive touch is a floating button that can perform various functions, including taking a screenshot. To enable and customize the assistive touch, follow these steps. Open the settings app on your iPad, then go to the accessibility section and tap on a touch. Select assistive touch and turn it on. Once assistive touch is enabled, you can customize it to take screenshots. You can tap on customize top level menu and add the screenshot function. Now, whenever you tap the assistive touch button, you can select screenshot to capture the screen. Of course, you can still use the single tap, double tap, there are more options to customize in here. Another possibility is to use the Apple Pencil if you have one. Simply drag the Apple Pencil from the bottom corner of the screen towards the center. This gesture will take a screenshot, making it quick and easy method for those who use Apple Pencil and still without pressing any buttons. Lastly, there's the option to use Siri shortcuts. You can set up an automation to take a screenshot under specific conditions. So, for instance, you can take a screenshot when your iPad reaches a certain battery level or something like that. To set it up, you'll need to open the shortcuts app, create a personal automation and choose what the trigger is and what happens. So obviously make it a screenshot. This can be more advanced, but I'm just showing it to you like that. And that's it for today, hope you found this video helpful, if you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below and I will catch you in the future.